Hello and welcome to Sudokana. For this video, I've chosen this Kropki Kakuro puzzle by American uh, author Eric Fox, a young author who's a brilliant creator. And so we have the usual rules of Kakuro, meaning that this number is the sum of all digits here and the digits must be all different. But now we have Kropki Kakuro, which means that whenever you have a white dot, it means that the digits are consecutive. Whenever you have a black dot, it means that one of the digits is double the other. And when you don't have a dot between two cells, it means that none of those apply. So these digits can't be consecutive, and none of them is twice the other one. So this seems completely absurd <laughs> at first glance. How can this have a unique solution? And how did Eric create such a symmetrical pattern that is typical Eric Fox's magic? Right, let's begin. This 4 is notoriously 1 plus 3. That's the only option to make 4 as the sum of two digits. This 6 could be either 1, 5 or 2, 4, but 2, 4 would need a black dot. So it's not 2, 4, it has to be 1 and 5. And that seems to be all we can find at first glance. Oh, this 7 is the sum of two consecutive digits. It has to be 3 plus 4. And this is restrictive, because 3 would need the other three digits to be uh, 9, 8, and 7. And 4 would make them 9, 8, and 6. So those are among those digits. And we know that 8 and 9 appear. But 8 and 9 can't be next to each other, or there would be a white dot. So one of them is here. And something of interest is that if this is a 4, then 8 can't appear here or there. And I should add that this, if this is an 8, then I need 1, 2, and 4. And I will have, and somewhere between 1, 2, and 4, two of the digits will be in a ratio of 2. 2 will be somewhere, and it will be next to 1 or 4. So this can't be a 9. Uh, this can't be a 4, uh, an 8, sorry. And if I try to make this a 9, then I will have to put 1, 2, and 3, and 2 will be next to 1 or 3, which would need a, black, a white dot. So this will never be a 9. So this now is 8 or 9 because both must appear, and then this digit and this digit must have a sum of 10. And then what happens? Um, that's a valid question. If I make... let's consider the options. Maybe it's too early to really think of all the options, but with 7, I need another 8. 8 could be 1, 2, 5, but 1, 2, 5, I, I should, I would need to keep 1 and 2 apart, so this would have to be a 5, but then this would be 5 halves or 10, that, is, that doesn't work. The other option is to have 1, 3, and 4, and in this case, uh, 3 and 4 must be separated by the 1, and then this has to be a 2. So that's, that's an option, and in this case I put 9 here, because 9 can't be next to the 7. Oh, I just noticed something. There's an 8 here or there. So 4 can't be next to it, so that's 
a 3, that's a 4, and then that has to be a 7, and that has to be a 9, that has to be an 8, and as we've just seen, this is a 1, that's a 2, and we need to put 3 and 4, so that's the 3, that's the 4. And that's a really nice beginning. This is not consecutive with any of those. They're not in a ratio of 2. So um, it can't be a 1, it can't be a 5, it can't be a 6, it can't be an 8, it has to be a 7. That is really, really restrictive. This now can't be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It can't be an 8. I would need a, a black dot, so that's a 6. Is there something similar here? 1 is possible, 2 is not. 3, 4, 5, 6 is possible. 7, 8, 9 are not. So that's 1 or 6. Here, it could be 1. Not 2, not 3, I would need a black dot, not 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 is possible. Now, 5 digits remain. Among them, 3, 4, and 5. And 4 can't be next to 3, 5, or 8. So 4 can only be next to a 1. So 4 has only one neighbor. So 4 has to be here. That's a 1. So that's 3, that's 1, that's 5, that's 1. And this is 8. And the remaining digits are 3 and 5. Only 3 can go here with a 6. That's a 5, that's a 9. Beautiful. This 24 needs now 6, 8, and 9. 8 and 9 need to be separated. And that is a 6. What are the options here? Not 1, not 2, not 3, 4 is possible. Not 5, not 6, 7. No, 7 would be next to a 6, but 8 is possible. Here, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. I would need a black dot. But seven, eight, and nine seem to be possible. This would never be an eight because next to a four it will need the black dot. So this can't be a nine. So next to the seven it could only be a six. Next to the eight it could be a seven or a nine, both appear to be valid. Here, not 1, not 2, not 3, 4, 5, 6, but 7, 8, and 9 all seem to be valid options. Next to 8 or 9, it has to be 7, 8, or 9. So we get a 7, 8, 9 triple in the row, and now this is a 4. This now can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, nor 8, so it has to be a 7. Those restrictions are incredible. I still need 2 and 6, and because of this 6, that's a 2, that's a 6. And I think that's all the restrictions I can find right now. But those 6s say that this can't include the 6, the only option is 5 and 9. What about this? 2 and 6 are not available. It can't be 1 or 4, nor 3. It can only be 8 with a 4 here. And this disambiguates this 5, 9 pair. So that's an 8, that's a 9. That has to be an 8. Now this is 7, this is 6, this is 9. This now in a 14 can't be 5, 8, or 6, so it has to be 9. That's a 5. And in this column, I still need the four options. 1, 3, 4, and 7. So this can't be 4 because of 
the 5. This will never be 7 because of this black dot. 1 would go with a 2. Next to the 5, that's okay. 3 would be next to a 6, but 6 wouldn't be next to 5. So 3 is not possible. 4 would be with a 2 or an 8. 8 here, that's 13. I would need 1 and 2. Oh, no, 1 and 2 would be next to each other without a dot. So 8 doesn't work. That's a 2. That's 7. I still need 9. Was that using 2 or 5? Could be 1 and 8. Could be 1 and 8 this way. Couldn't be 2 and 7. Could be 3 and 6. With 3 here and 6 there. Right. What next? Something interesting is that in this column, one, oh, sorry, that's a naked single, that has to be a one. So that's a four. And this, and this one makes this a six. I get eight here, so this is one. And here I still need two, five, and nine. Two won't be next to one. Nine is not here. It's already in the column. No. So this now must be 4, 6, or 8. Note that 6 wouldn't work with either 3 or 7. Would need a black dot for 3, a white dot for 7. Now 4 would be with 7, 8 would be with 3. And we need to enter the arena. The ring, the inner ring. How do we do that? 22. The options for 22, one of them is 5, 8, 9. But then 8 and 9 have to be separated. So in this option, we get 5 here, 8, 9 there. The other option it is with 7, 6 and 9. 6 and 7 have to be kept apart with 9 in the middle. So that's, those are not the, the correct cells. So this is 5 or 9. But 9 would need an 8 next to it. So the only option is with a 5. And 8 and 9 here. And this is either 4 or 6. But 4 wouldn't work with this uh, 8. So that's a 6. Those two consecutive digits, one of them must be even. It won't be six or eight, so it has to be two or four. Two would be with a one or a three. Four would be with a three. Five is not available. So those are one, two, three, four, somehow. And three here would go with one and two. But this digit can't be any of those. It can't be 9, it can't be 4, because it's next to 5. So the, the remaining options are 1, 2, 3, and 7. Oh, this 20, okay. 1 and 2 are too low for that, so that won't be a 1. 3 or 4. Neither can be next to a 2. Neither can be next to a 3. A 3. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I'm French. 3 would go with 8 and 9, but it's definitely not what's happening here. There would be an issue of uniqueness. Oh, oh yes. There would definitely... I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure there would be an issue with uniqueness. But yes, there would have to be. But 4 would be with 7 and 9. And we know for sure that there's a 9 here or there, and there's a 9 here or there, so there's a 9 here. 
So those are 9 and 8 with a 3, or 9 and 7 with a 4. 3 would make this a 6, 4 would make this a 2 or an 8, but 8 can't go next to a 9. And this black dot should, should be enough to, well, to finish the solve. That, that's so unlikely. So, how do we do that? Oh, no, sorry. This 3 is impossible. It would be next to a consecutive digit. So, this is a 7. And that's a 1. Up there, we get a 3, an 8, a 9. So, that's not a 9. And this is not quite resolved yet. What are the options here? Not 1, not 3. 2 would work. 4 wouldn't, 5 would work, 6 would work, next to a 2, 7, 8, 9 wouldn't. So we are down to finding what's happening here. So could it be 2, 2 and 4? With 2 and 4, get here 3 and 6, here are 5, 2, and 2 options here, so I guess it wouldn't. But that's not really an argument. 2, 4, that, that's a 3, so 8, 9, 9, 7. I don't see an issue with that. Oh. Oh, sorry, I'm missing something. Or am I? No. No, I'm not missing anything, actually. So, so 2 and 4. Well, 2 wouldn't be next to the 1. That seems to work. What about 3 and 6? I get 4 and 2. Let's try. So let's try 2 and 4. So this is 2, this is 4. That's 3, that's 6. I'm sorry to sorry for this bifurcation, but I don't see how to do it otherwise. So that's not an 8, it has to be a 9, 8, 9. That's not an 8, so that's a 7, that's a 4. I said a 4. So now this has to be a 3. 5, 2. And many options. Did I make a mistake somewhere? Oh, sorry. I've been missing this instead of bifurcating next to a 6. It will never be a 5. That's a 2. That's a 5 here. So this can't be 5 or 6. That's a 2. All right. So that's that's much better. So this is now 9. This is 7. This is 8. This can only be 9. This has to be 4. And this has to be 3. And now here... No. Oh, so what did I do? Oh, all right. Everything was correct, except that that has to. No. What did I do? Sorry. So this now is. This part is correct, so now this has to be a 6, that has to be a 3, so this is 8 and 9. And those numbers be 4 and 8, but 4 can't be next to the 2, so that's 8, that's 4, and I can't have an 8 next to the 4, so this is 9, this is 8, this is 9, this is now 7, I said this is 9, so this has to be 4, and this has to be 3. Yes! 
sorry about all the mistakes. That is typical canard. Well, this is how I waste my chances in contests. I hope you don't mind. So, excellent puzzle by... Outstanding puzzle, incredible puzzle by Eric Fox. This is really amazing. And this is really typical Eric, uh, brilliance. In terms of logic, in terms of overall appearance, this is absolutely magnificent. Thanks for watching this video and see you soon on Sudo Canard.